Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.15.1. Forge just came out for Minecraft 1.15.1 and today we're going to be going over every single step of getting it. Now obviously this is 1.14.4 but this video will be here once you get to this page. But yeah, that's something I do want to mention there. First and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great place to start a Minecraft Forge server in just a few clicks, you can do so with Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, that is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. And you can set up your server with just a few clicks, running Forge or 1.15.1 or spigot, bucket, anything you want it to do with Apex Minecraft Hosting, all simple and easy. Again, that is the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge installed here. So the first thing you need to do is obviously download Forge. So to do that, you can go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Forge. You can go through the entire process here if I go too fast in this video or something like that. But nevertheless, once you are here, what you want to do is scroll down and click on this green Download Forge button. When you click on that, it will take you off to Forge's official website where you want to make sure version 1.15 is selected. Right now, as you can see, it actually says MC 1.14.4. So what we need to do is come over to the left-hand sidebar, click on 1.15, and then click on 1.15.1 here. Once we click on that, we'll see MC 1.15.1 and be able to come under Download Latest and click on Installer to go ahead and download the in latest version of Forge. Now that will take us off to Add Focus where, stop, don't listen to it, your download is not ready, no, stop. Wait in five seconds and then in the top right up here, you will see this red skip button. Click that red skip button and then Forge will download in the bottom left. Now you will need to keep or save this file and as long as it says Forge at the beginning and dot .jar at the end, which ours does, we're good to keep the file. Now on Mozilla Firefox, it's in the center of your screen and you'll need to save it. Again, don't click anything on this page here except the red skip button in the top right. That's all you need to click and then you'll be good to go. Now once you've got Forge downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser here. So if we minimize our browser on our desktop, we do have Forge for Minecraft 1.15.1. As you can see, Forge 1.15.1. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries whatsoever. It's just hiding in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Then once you click on that, go ahead and type in Downloads. Then you have this Downloads file folder in Windows here. Go ahead and click on that file folder in Windows named downloads and then take Forge 1.15.1 and drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we can go ahead and get Forge installed. Doing this is actually pretty simple. Just go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. Now if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary or if you do and you click OK and it doesn't work, then what do you do? Well, it's pretty simple. You go to the description of this video and go here. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. Forge is a Minecraft mod loader, so it needs its own special kind of Java here that basically allows you to open up Forge itself as well as run other Minecraft mods as well as run Minecraft servers on your computer and is all covered in this quick and easy three-step tutorial. I also go over it in this video here more in-depth than I even do in this text tutorial. So it is all covered here. If you want to go through it quicker, you can do the text tutorial. If you want to watch the video, it is there as well to help you make sure that you can get Forge installed. At which point, you should be able to open up Forge with Java TM Platform SE Binary. But if you still can't and you still have issues, no worries, because we've got another solution for you in the description down below, and that is the jar fix. So as you can see, this is how to use the jar fix to repair the .jar files on your computer. And basically what that means is it's going to take all of the .jar files that are stored on your computer and things like that, take them and make them all work with Java once again. That's what this is going to do, and it's a pretty simple, pretty easy thing, but it is something that you need to do in order to get everything up and running if you still can't open up Forge with Java TM Platform SE Binary. So once you've got this, went through this tutorial, if you need to, we can finally come back, right click on Forge, click on Open With, 
Then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. That will then open up the Forge Mod System Installer here, where all we want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. Now at this point, if it fails, if it doesn't run, the only reason it's done that is because you haven't went and played Minecraft 1.15.1 yet. So you need to go launch Minecraft 1.15.1 Vanilla with nothing else installed other than Minecraft 1.15, just latest release, then come back here and it will work and it will install, no problems, no issues whatsoever. So as you can see, it is finishing up the installation process now, and there it goes. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.15.1. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, basically at this point, the hard work of installing Forge is done. All you need to do is go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then once you're in the Minecraft Launcher here, you want to click on the little button in the bottom left. You should have this Forge profile here, and it should say 1.15.1-Forge under it. However, what if you don't have the Forge profile, or what if you do and it doesn't say 1.15.1 under Forge? Well, I'm going to show you what to do. If you do have this though, go ahead and click on that and click play. However, if you don't, you want to click on the installations tab up here at the top of the Minecraft launcher. Once you're here, you then want to go ahead and create a new installation. To do that, go ahead and click this plus new button here. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server where we have incredible grief protected survival. We have two survival servers, aquatic survival and medieval survival. Medieval survival has over 30 custom quests, an incredible player based economy, an awesome marketplace, five custom realms with castles and all sorts of stuff for your quest. In addition to just being an awesome grief protected survival server where you can do slash wild, go out, explore, enjoy, mine, and just have a fun way you build your own empire on medieval survival. We've also got aquatic survival, which is a slash shop based economy where you can rule the world or rule the land, if you will, or roll aquatic survival by getting to bow top and just competing with everybody over there with jobs and custom kits and crates and awesome stuff like that so you will absolutely love aquatic survival and then we do have custom skyblock as well which has custom tools custom islands everything completely custom done to a breakdown craft standard so come play with this play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip and i can't wait to see you online however once you've entered in your name here you want to come under version and you'll have this drop down box Click on that version drop down box and in here you'll have release 1.15.1-Forge. Now mine's at the top but you may need to scroll down a bit to find it but here it is release 1.15.1-Forge. Click on that and then I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution to 1920 by 1080 just so you all will be able to see once we get in game. And then you can also add more RAM here if you want by clicking on the more options tab and changing 2G to however much RAM you want. Personally, I'm going to launch it with 4 gigs just because I find that works best for modded Minecraft usually, especially with no mods installed like we're doing here. But once you've got that set up, you can go ahead and click create. However, a note on the RAM, don't add more RAM than your computer has. For example, if you only have 4 gigs of RAM, you can't launch Minecraft with that much RAM. It will just error out. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and now that we have the play.breakdowncraft.com profile created, we can check that it says 1.15.1-forge under it. It does. So we can go ahead and click play. I don't know, download, do the things that it needs to do to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15.1 with Forge installed. So the first part of opening Forge is this early loading process. And basically, this is getting Forge ready, getting it ready to do everything that it needs to do. And then here we go, it is now launching up Forge and Minecraft 1.15.1. Luckily, the issue of freezing on load up for vanilla Minecraft 1.15 was fixed with 1.15.1, so we don't have to worry about that with Forge here, and here we are on the main menu. By the way, if you do have issues launching Forge, it is most likely due to you not having enough RAM dedicated to it, so go ahead and add more RAM like we did, and then you'll be good to go. But here we are on the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, we do have warning, Forge beta, major issues may arise, verify before reporting, reporting. so as like right now, Forge is not stable. It is beta. It just came out today, so obviously it is beta. And then if we go ahead and click on mods here, we will be able to see Minecraft and Forge, basically the Minecraft coder pack, which is used as kind of the foundation of Minecraft mods, and then Forge itself, which is obviously the API that is used to run the mods that we just installed. If you want to install mods, you can check out our video at the, at the top of your screen, and it will go over exactly how to do that and how to get Forge mods installed and everything like that will be covered in that video. But as you can see here, we have Forge installed. It is up and running. I am going to go ahead and create a new world just real quick so you all will be able to see that this is uh, that this is running and that I'm not playing any tricks here. We've got Forge in 1.15.1 and 
Launching up a new world is a great way to do that. I'll spawn in some bees and we'll be all happy and it'll be good. But at this point you have Forge and um, yeah, that is that. It's a very, very simple process to install Forge these days. Something else that was fixed in 1.15.1, you can now launch worlds without them like freezing on startup, something we encountered quite a few times in our videos. Um, but luckily that's now fixed in 1.15.1. But nevertheless, here we are. We are in Minecraft 1.15.1 in creative because I just like to easily Spawn in things like bees, spawn in some bee nest and some beehives, because why not? I do see a jungle over there. Boom, look at that, all of those bees. Get them some bee nest, some beehives, all of that stuff. Will these guys automatically track to this, or is there a way to like make them go? No, I don't know. Anyway, there is, uh, I thought I saw a jungle over here, but I didn't. I was gonna go over there and see if we can maybe find some cats or something, but overall, I don't think there's any denying that we are in Minecraft 1.15. If you all have any questions about installing Forge in Minecraft 1.15.1, please let us know in the comment section down below. And on your screen right now, you are seeing two videos that uh, basically one is our playlist for Medieval Survival, our incredible series on play.breakdowncraft.com, and the other one is actually how to install Forge mods. So now you've got Forge, you need to add mods to it, and we have an in-depth video on doing that as well, which uh, you can check out by clicking on your screen as well as in the description down below. Thank you all so so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.